Hey everyone, today we're talking about how to find the linear equation from a graph using slope-intercept form. We'll do four problems together, which are the ones shown here on the screen. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my video on graphing linear equations. Once you have that down, these problems will be a lot easier. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more Algebra 1 videos, and press the like button below for good luck. Let's go! When your teacher gives you the graph of a line and asks you to write the equation, you can use the different parts of the slope-intercept form equation to build it out. As a reminder, slope-intercept form is written as y equals mx plus b, where the letter m represents the slope, which is how steep your line is, and b represents the y-intercept, which is where the graph of the line crosses the y-axis. Basically, once we find the value of the slope and the y-intercept, we can plug them in and write out the equation. Step one is to find the y-intercept, which is where our line crosses the y-axis, the axis that goes up and down. For this graph, that point is at 0, 2. That means our y-intercept, or b-value, equals 2. Step two is to find the slope, which tells us how steep the graph is. A lot of times you'll hear the slope described as rise over run, and I'll explain what that means in a bit. To find the slope, we first need to find a second point on the graph. So I see another point here at 1, 3. Technically, you can choose any point on this graph, like 0.5 and 2.5, but why would you choose something with a decimal and make it harder on yourself, you know? So I like to choose any point with whole numbers that's to the right of my first point. Now that we've identified a second point, to find the slope, we'll put our pencil over our first point from step one, and we're trying to find the path to the second point. Let's first find our rise, which is how you'll move up and down to get to the second point. In this case, it's positive one because we're going up by one. Then let's find our run, which is how you'll move from side to side to get to the second point. In this case, it's also positive one because we're going to the right by one. One divided by one equals one, so our slope is just one. Step three is the easy part. Let's plug in the numbers we found. Our slope intercept form always starts with y equals we just found our slope, or m, which equals 1, so we'll plug that in. And we also found that our b value equals 2, so that's our equation. y equals 1x plus 2. Since 1 times x, or any other number, is the same thing as that number, we can just write it as y equals x plus 2. That's our final answer. We'll go through the same process for this graph. Step one is to find the y-intercept, which is again where the line crosses the y-axis. In this graph, that point is zero, negative one. That means our y-intercept, or b, equals negative one. Step two is to find the slope, which again tells us how steep the graph is. To find the slope, we first need to find a second point. I see another easy point here at 3, negative 2. To find the slope, which is rise over run, we'll put our pencil over the first point and try to find a path to our second point that we just found. For the rise, we need to go down by 1, so our rise is negative 1. For our run, we need to go to the right by 3, so our run is positive 3. Our final slope is a fraction, it's negative 1 over 3. Step 3, the easy part. We have y equals our slope, which is negative 1 over 3, x. 
plus our y-intercept, which we found was negative 1. So our final equation for the graph is y equals negative 1 over 3, x equals 1. Next one, for step one, let's find our y-intercept. In this case, our line actually crosses the y-axis at zero, zero. So our y-intercept, or b, is actually equal to zero, which is kind of weird, but still the right answer. Step two, find the slope. I see another point at three, negative two. To get our rise, we'll put our pencil over our first point. We need to go down by 2, so our rise is negative 2. And for our run, we need to go to the right by 3, so our run is positive 3. Based off of that, our final slope is negative 2 over 3. Step 3, we have y equals our slope, which is negative 2 over 3 x plus our y-intercept, which is 0. So all cleaned up, our final equation for the graph is just y equals negative 2 over 3, x. All right, our final equation, the graph is completely horizontal, so it looks a little different than the ones we've done. But you can actually get the equation if you just think about it conceptually, like no matter what x equals, y will equal 4 which means that the graph does not depend on x, so it's not even in the equation. The answer or the equation of this graph is just y equals 4. If that didn't really make sense to you, you can also follow the same steps that we've been doing. So step number one, our y-intercept is at 0, 4, so b equals 4. Step two, our slope. I'll choose my second point as 1, 4, when we're finding our rise, it equals zero because it's on the same horizontal line. You don't have to go up or down. And our run is to the right by one, so positive one. Zero divided by one or zero divided by any number really equals zero, so our slope is zero. Step three, let's plug these numbers in. We have y equals our slope which is 0 times x plus our y-intercept, which is 4. Cleaned up, this equation is really just y equals 4, like we talked about before. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Algebra 1 videos and study tips. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what other topics you want me to cover. See you in the next video.